Hey there, this is week 10 in my attempt to monetize my small channel. My goal is to monetize in 2024 and we're going to see if we're able to do it. So every week on Mondays, I do one of these videos where I share my analytics with you. I share the content that I've created and kind of, we're going to look at like what's working, what's not working in this video. I also want to share a tool that I've been using to See if I'm doing better on my channel or not. It also will help me project out when it thinks I'm going to monetize my channel based on the current subscribers and, and how that's all going. So I'll share that with you. So let's jump into the analytics so I can show you what happened this week. So this is in YouTube studio. If you don't know how to go to YouTube studio on your channel, you can go in the corner where your little picture is, and then you should see YouTube studio. So click on YouTube studio and then it brings you to the dashboard. So this is, this is currently my dashboard. You can see that I have 283 subscribers. Last Monday I had 277. So I didn't jump too much in subscribers, but I think that I saw some interesting things on my channel this week that I wanted to share. So let me go into the analytics on the left side here and I am going to change it to the last seven days like I always do. And you can see that my views are actually less, 36% less than previous seven days. Watch time is actually up. So that's kind of interesting. It's like I'm getting less views, but I'm also getting more watch time. I think that's good news because that means people are sticking around and watching the videos when they finally get to my video. And then plus six subscribers. So 25% less than the previous seven days. I got a lot of new subscribers the week before last. So I'm fine with six subscribers. So it's just scrolling down. It kind of shows what my top content was this, this period. Funny thing is this is a short, this master your outlining easy tips for content creation is a short that I created and it actually has a related video. So this short is pointing to a long form video. So this short got 353 views. So I actually want to go and see if any of those views converted into the long form view. We'll see. Um, this video, finding opportunities to make money online as a regular person and new cap cut editing features that you need to know did pretty well. Um, let me go into advanced mode. This is where we can see subscription source. I like to look at, look at all these things because I find this interesting. Subscribers gained on the YouTube watch page. Uh, one gained on my channel. Um, didn't look like I lost any subscribers that this week. So that's, that's kind of exciting. Going over to content, I can look at all of these videos that I posted and kind of, you know, toggle by these, these column headers. So subscribers, I got the most subscribers on my new cap cut video. Um, and I got one subscriber on that one. Um, watch time hours. I can sort it by that. Most watch time hours is find this, find opportunities in making money online as a regular person, 8.8 .8 watch hours. And then this cap cut video, 4.8. If I want to sort it by views, then that one pops up again, that one short. Um, so that's just very, very interesting, I thought. So I'm actually going to go and see if I can find where that short is pointing to, and we'll look at that. But let's go over to, to the content. This week, I actually posted three long form videos, which is over what I thought I was going to. If you remember from my last video, I wanted to post three long form videos, in a, including my getting monetized one. So this week I actually posted three in addition to, so I posted one extra video, which I think it's just, it just happened because I got really excited about this cap cut one and I just went with it. I was like, you know what? I'm excited to talk about this. So I just made an extra video. And so it was, it was wholly unplanned <laughs> and it actually did pretty well. 117 views and three comments and six likes. So I think that video went really well. I think that kind of video is in my wheelhouse because of my IT background and because of my love of learning new programs and learning features and teaching and demonstrating about the technology that I discover that that's totally in my wheelhouse. So, and I think that shows with the views when you look at it, that video compared to other videos. So that's my latest video and it actually has quite a lot of views comparatively to my older videos. This one, find opportunities to make money online, 177 views. I was really surprised that that one did so well. Um, I mean, it was basically me talking about all of the different ways that I've tried to monetize both being successful and failing. And I, you know, I thought maybe people might not be interested because it was more about me, 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 but the whole point of that video was to 
let people know that, gosh, there are so many ways to monetize and make money online. And I wanted to share my experience. So that's what that video is. So this video, this third video down here, it was really interesting because I had gotten a comment about it and it was a very well thought out comment. And I thank the person that let that left that comment. The thumbnail that I had before and the title of the video was making a promise about discovering whether a short would convert into a long form video. That's what my 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 title was about and what my thumbnail about and what the person pointed out was that i didn't get to the point of that until nearly the end of my video so i ended up changing my thumbnail and i changed the title of my video to be more about the process than how to convert the short videos to to the long so um i don't know that i got that many more views after i changed it but I think I learned something from that. You know, I think I learned that I definitely need to make sure that the thumbnail and the title and the intro of the video, which is the promise to the viewer is delivered and it is delivered in a timely manner. I can't keep the meat and the potatoes to the end of the video because by then people are not watching anymore. They're literally, they've already clicked off. They've, they've realized that I'm probably not going to talk about it. And they went and they watched somebody else. So, you know, I, I'm just trying to get better in that regard. And I think I did nail it in this cap cut one, because I think the thumbnail and the title, let me click in here so we can see it a little better, but new cap cut features. That's literally what I was talking about. And then in the title was new cap cut video editing features. You need to know some kind of like more of an emotional response. I don't know that this is a great title, um, but I think it's a lot closer than some of the ones that I've gotten in the past. So hopefully people will understand that when they read my, um, little chapters here, that it does align with the title, the thumbnail, the intro, everything on that video. So I'm really proud of that video. I think that one went really, really well. And I just think it's funny that I didn't script that one. I just did it off the cuff, but whatever. So scrolling down, I was surprised this one right here. Stop chasing subscribers and views for engagement, 109 views. So that one kind of started, started creeping up. Um, then some of the older videos are starting to, you know, kind of just kick off. Then my episode three is 869 views. So that was really, really interesting. So shorts, I don't know how many shorts I posted. I think last Monday might have been the 14th. Um, but my shorts did fairly well, but they really just don't get that many likes. I just, I find that the people on the shorts feed are, I don't know. They're just, they're just different kind of people. I don't feel like they're that nice. <laughs> I don't feel like they're that, like they, they are all business or they are all like, they are wanting something very specific from the shorts feed. And for some reason I'm not delivering. I mean, I'm getting a lot of down votes on those. So they just don't like those. And I think that's because these are the ones that are coming from the long form videos. Remember I said, oh, of course my mouth just ran out of batteries. So I'll use my touchpad. Um, but, oh, no, it just connected again. Okay. So it wasn't batteries. It just lost connection. Anyways, so let me go see, I can't remember which video this one was taking from. So let me go see. Um, so related video is YouTube creation challenge. So let me go over to that video, YouTube creation challenge, this one right here and go into the analytics of this video and see, and I think it's under reach traffic sources, see more related shorts. So. It looks like I, I still only got one video that converted from that short into a long form view. See this one right here. Um, since I post posted that video. So, you know, I don't know that. I mean, I don't know a lot of things, you know, I, there's, there's, there's so many things that go into this, right? So this video, this challenge yourself video only got 30 views. Uh, I don't know that this video is that great of a video to begin with. And then the fact that I took that video and chopped it up into shorts and then posted the shorts. And then now the shorts are getting all the thumbs down. You know, it just kind of feels like maybe that video wasn't the best video to do that. You know, like I should pick a video that is 
getting a good amount of likes and then maybe chopping that up into shorts. So maybe I'll, I'll start thinking about it that way that I should maybe see if a video is performing well before taking some of the clips and posting it as a short. So I think these ones where I'm getting, you know, a good amount of views and people are actually liking and they're not downvoting, those ones would probably be a better candidate for uh, doing that rather than, you know, a video that isn't that great to begin with. I hope that makes sense. The other thing that I wanted to share with you is this tool called Social Blade. It's, you can just go to socialblade.com and you can use this pull down here. I'm using it mainly for, for YouTube, so I would just put my... YouTube channel name in there and click the search button and it's coming up. And I look at this periodically because this, this will change. My grade will change. I've actually had a B minus at one point and I'm not really sure exactly how they grade, but I, I think it probably has something to do with the stats here. Let's actually, let's, let's, let's click on that. Actually, the total grade is a visual representation of the social blade rank or SB rank based on ranking against our whole database. So they have some kind of ranking system and that's how they're getting it. So I think I originally started my channel. I had a D minus. I've had it as high as a B minus, and right now I'm a C plus. So, I mean, maybe I'm going in the wrong direction, but I think as long as I don't slip down below a C plus, I think I'm good. The other thing I wanted to show you is right here where it says future projections, and you get an ad on this free version. This is subs subscribers prediction. The one that I have over a thousand, it's 10 months from now. So this tool, Social Blade, is projecting that it's gonna take me until July of next year to have a thousand subscribers, which I think is fantastic. I'm trying to monetize this year, um, but I need both thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. But when I used this tool in the past, it told me it was gonna take three years. So I'm, I think I'm going in the right direction because this time keeps getting shorter. Um, <laughs> I am, I'm getting subscribers at a faster rate, which is, is getting me closer to that goal. So I'm going to keep watching this. You should check out this tool. It's totally free. And I think it's, it's pretty cool. Um, there's probably a lot of other st stuff in here that it would be interesting, but that's pretty much what I've used it for. You know, I, I still need to work more on my, my thumbnails and my um, titles and I'm just going to continue just making more content. I mean, it just, it just takes time and I'm going to continue putting in the time and in the effort and get some more videos up there this week. I have a few things planned and I'm just going to roll with it. So I haven't had a chance to watch this new cap cut features video. I would suggest you watch that next. I think that is an, a really good video. I'm like I said, I'm really proud of this one video. I'm going to put a card right here so that you can click over to that video and watch that one next. All right. I'll see you next week. Bye.